It's five degrees Fahrenheit. Every day it got a little colder. The whole city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice. But nobody was worried about it. Take a look inside, Tyler. I'm gonna talk to Garrett and see if he found anything. Cool with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. Ah, I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the Lavamatic found the bodies around 5 o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the door was blocked from the inside. He saw the two bodies through a window and called the cops. Do you think there's a link to Kane? The woman died from three knife wounds to the heart area. It happened in a public place and with no apparent motive. Sound like Kane to you? What do we know about the victims? The man was called Jose Lopez. He works here and was supposed to close up last night. The woman's name was Anita Martinez. She did her laundry here on a regular basis. Thanks, Garrett. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? That the murderer was bleeding before he stabbed his victim. Just like in the toilets of the restaurant. A knife stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Bizarre. His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. A snake. A snake with two heads. Three or four stabs in the area of the heart. Exactly like the victim in the restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if the autopsy finds that the arteries were severed. Stuck in his eye. Damn, that's gotta hurt. Poor girl, she was stabbed from the front. She found out who her killer was at the very last moment. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time to dial the number. Too bad, we could have had a live witness. Here's the victim's laundry. Who would have believed she wouldn't be alive to get it out when he was ready? Did you notice the key in the lock? Yeah, I saw that. There's no other way into this place. How did the killer get out? Doesn't make any sense.
Let's go. I've seen enough. What are we supposed to think about this murder? A guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. But all the same, there's got to be a link between the two murders.